Welcome to the interesting podcast number five. This episode is brought to you by nothing because I don't do sponsors. Because ah! nobody knows who I am yet. But anyway, um, this episode, I'm going to get right into it, is actually uh, Mausler. Mausler is an amazing cosplayer. She uh, does a ton of Star Wars stuff, which is very refreshing because I obviously am quite a fan. If you hadn't guessed by the title, Jedi Brian. But um, this podcast was recorded back at Tampa Bay Comic Con. And a uh, little bit of backstory behind this. Um, since I started the podcast, I definitely wanted Mausler on because uh, she's uh, I, I've been a big fan of her work for a while. She does some really, really cool stuff. And um, we've become pretty good friends since. Um, and this was recorded, I want to say... Mm, t- around midnight, midnight at 12.30 or so at night. Um, her, Ken Hampton, who's going to be a guest later on, um, re-roll cosplay, uh, they all came to my hotel, and we recorded this in the lobby, which one was super, super cool of them to drive, you know, however long it was, back into town to my hotel and to record this. So, one, thank you very much, Sarah, for doing that. I really, really appreciate it. Um, all you guys. Uh, so, there was that. But interestingly enough, I was still getting the hang of using this recorder and I was not aware of the impact the surrounding has at the time because obviously I recorded this back in August. Um, So we filmed it in the lobby. There was a fountain maybe six, eight feet from us. And because the mics that I use are so good, they picked it up. So that's there i i don't think it ruins it because you can still pretty much hear us but it uh it's definitely something i learned from and would like to apologize on the top for that so we'll definitely have to have her on but there's also um a radio playing in the lobby so that's fun and then there was a crowd of people that were very loud that also added a little extra flavor um so I'd like to apologize for that, but I think you're really going to enjoy it. I mean, we we talked about a bunch of stuff. Mauser's way cool. Um, if you're not following her already, you definitely should be. Um, as usual, all of our plugs are going to be at the end of this. But, um, yeah, check her out. Thanks for checking this out. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it doesn't uh, deter you with um, the the little speed bumps that we had. But, uh, yeah, so, anyway, we get right to it. Hope you guys like it. This is uh, the interesting podcast number five with uh, the cosplayer, Mausler. Roll the theme song. That's super cool. Get out of that theme song. It is that easy. My voice is going to be all weird because I've been talking a lot today. That's okay. My voice is always weird. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I just got out of the rain. So, okay. Mausler. Jedi first things Brian. first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Instead of names, back and forth. That's just the whole podcast, right. actually. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do some really dumb questions first that, like, every cosplayer gets, so right. you don't have to answer them anymore. Just be like, listen to the podcast. Okay. So, number one, Mausoleum, like, where'd it come from? It's a long story, but the short Sweet. version, or I can tell the long story. <laughs> do what you feel. That's what I do. What I feel. All right, well, a big uh, World of Warcraft nerd. Sweet. Yeah, so when I first started playing in Vanilla, I had a friend, um, and we both played Druids, Bear Druids. Sweet. And... He would always make fun of me because no one could hear me on vent or anything, which we'll be surprised if anyone can hear me on this show. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so he nicknamed me Mouse, and uh, yeah, gotcha. later I made a horde druid, cool. and I 
made her M O W S E mouse yeah, yeah. because uh, if you've ever played World of Warcraft, the druid main buff is Mark of the Wild. So and people would run around yeah, yeah. saying Mel, Mel, Mel me, or you know, Paul in some cases. So right, right. That's that's the short version of that. Sweet. <laughs> I played WoW for a summer. I was on one of those like uh, weird servers that was like 30% EXP rate, so you nice. level up really fast. <laughs> That's lucky. It was oh my for uh, it was for cheaters like me. Oh yeah. And I did a I did a human warrior because I'm lame, that and I was like, lame. I'm a human, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm I, a warrior. I, yeah, I'm a warrior. <laughs> and so I, I capped that one, and then was everyone was making fun of me because I'm a lion. I'm right. Like, dude, you gotta I'm go right horde. All the good people are right. horde. Also, all the dicks are horrid. That's true. That is definitely Nobody true. Nobody helped me, <laughs> ever. No. Like, what's your level? Yeah. I'm going to challenge you and then take your stuff. I was like, all right, that's cool. I'll are we allowed? Are we allowed? Oh, yeah. Okay. Whatever okay. Because my mouth is a fountain, an endless fountain of Good. obscenity. Good. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I just said the F word. Yeah. Okay. No, it's all of, I've had worse. All right. But no, I, totally horrid or like the shit scum of the universe and yeah. I love them. They're horrible. <laughs> They're horrible. I was like, you're not going to get any help if you aren't horrible. Yeah. Alliance will actually help you out because everyone's That's like, true. I don't know where it is either. Yeah. <laughs> Let's we'll find, find it together. together. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Friendship. I did I, I, I did cap an orc warrior because okay. I'm equally lame as horde. Yeah. I, I have like five druids. No so it's, you still play? Um, I'm active right now, but I haven't yeah. actually played in like two weeks because I've been so busy with my costume builds. But uh, I play off and on. I, I don't play as, as hardcore as I used to. Yeah. There's not, not enough time. I'm old now. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I should have had two new costumes by this event. Didn't really work out. Oh, yeah, what happened to Karth? Did you, uh, how far did you get? Mickey's making my jacket. Oh, cool. Oh, that's going to be so, epic then. <laughs> yes. That's why I was like, I need it real, and there's no way I'm ever going to do it justice. <laughs> so, Mickey, hey, I'm going to make payments for a while. Yeah. And we'll figure this out. Well, when you finish Karth, we definitely need to get together. I'm going to freak. First, I'm going to have to stop crying. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'm gonna have a I'm gonna carry a sign with me that's gonna say like Karth wants to talk about something. <laughs> and then when someone's like, hey, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> that is so so that is relevant. How I roll. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Karth. Horrible. Love that little guy though. Have you ever seen him? His actual voice actor. Oh yeah. It doesn't a, make any he's sense. He's a funky looking dude. <laughs> and he's got a weird name too. It's like Ralph Sabarge or yes, something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I tweeted him all the time just to be like, hey man, you ever seen a Karth cosplay? <laughs> To kind of like, he he's like, no, Aww. he's busy being a TV writer or something. Oh, well, he's on uh, Once Upon a Time and uh, yeah? also uh, Murder in the First. I watch both those shows and I'm like, it's fucking Karth right there. Oh. Does he use Karth's voice? Like, it's just his voice? I mean, yeah, it's just his voice, yeah. So if he ever says, I don't want to talk about it, you're like, that's it, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> well, well, the first time I, I obviously knew him versus Karth, but then Caden was my big romance in uh, uh, aspect. So gotcha. when I first watched Once Upon a Time, which don't ask me why I did that, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I he came on the screen and he was talking. I'm like, what's his voice sound so familiar? And it just kept bothering me. So I looked him up and he, you know, lists his credits. And I was just like, the fuck? Hey, this is who I've been in love this? with all these years. <laughs> That's the guy. <laughs> That's why they invented light switches. Yeah. That exact reason. Whoa. I'm in love with Just talk. Ginger. Yeah, right? Oh, curly one, too. <laughs> that guy, he just had an idea. He's one of those, oh, I got it. <laughs> That's his natural look. It's just that weird little hairdo. But you're very talented. You're not listening, but if you are, I love you. Oh, yeah, no, you're great. Yeah. I love you. Yeah, please. But, dude, your hair is crazy. <laughs> For real. Have you played The Old Republic? I played beta and I played like three or four months since launch yeah. and I, I really liked it. Yeah. I loved the premise of, you know, the the class basis, um, right. the stories and everything like that. But then all my friends quit and I was just like, Ugh. Just sort of bad out? Yeah. I, I pre-ordered it like a year in advance. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's going to be the best <laughs> thing so ever. I'm so excited. Yeah. I have a Mac. Oh. I still have the disc. <laughs> I was even one of those like, be an early adopter, you get a medal. I was like, sweet, I'm getting yeah. a medal. Yeah, not getting the medal. Yeah. Not well, the medal. and I even tried, like, um, two years ago, I tried to play over the summer, the free version of it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, no. You can't even, like, like run fast yeah. without, like, upgrading to the subscription. Dude. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet. Okay. Lame cosplay questions. What's another one? Uh, how'd you get into cosplay? That's a, that's a hard question, because what I consider cosplay is probably not the correct answer. <laughs> I think I'm the same. It's different. Like, Halloween isn't cosplay for me. Neither yeah. was. Like, I don't consider the Revolution of 501st cosplay. 
for me. I don't yeah, know. What does they're, it do? they're like hardcore. Well, I made costumes not even just for Halloween when I was younger. Oh, I, I mean, like not like. Like for funsies? And so, yeah, you're yeah. like a child. No, I mean, leaving. like I had help and stuff, but <laughs> I would want to dress up like characters. I would play video games and make a mental list of awesome. who I wanted to be. And I didn't realize there was a thing like cosplay, and I didn't even ever think like, oh, I'm actually going to dress up. Sure. But I also felt like I would always pick characters I looked like because I didn't know things like Smart. wigs and contacts Smart. existed. So I was always going to be like Eris or Shayna from... Uh, Legend of Dragoon, you know, like I just had a list of right. brunettes in my head. Yeah. Huh. My <laughs> hair's that hair. color. Yeah. I'll just Done. cut my hair, I guess. <laughs> but then, like, I don't know. I um, my first real costume was Sheena Fuji Fujibaya, Fujibashi. I'm too tired from <laughs> Tales of Symphonia. And um, my best friend in high school, her mom made that costume, and I nice. there's no pictures of it. I don't know why. I'm like a picture <laughs> it exists, whore. I swear. <laughs> and then there's no pictures of it. But and I made a ninja and some Sweet. other crap. Um, but I didn't really actually do cosplay, or what I consider cosplay, until Star Wars Celebration 5, okay. which was the first one in Orlando. Nice. And I, that's when I made Atrix, because I was like, I really just want to like go to this con and dress up and be cool, and like, I don't, you know, maybe other people won't be dressed up, but uh, right. whatever. And then everyone was dressed up, I'm like, oh my god, people actually do this. And what? then I've discovered cosplay. <laughs> Atrix was your first one? Yeah. Really? My first real one that I actually oh, wow. put work into. Yeah. My first one was a Jedi, and it was horrible. <laughs> no, way, I've seen oh, your Jedi. You haven't seen the first one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> those are cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. The, yeah, no, my first one was terrible. Um, I, like, safety pinned the tabards because yeah, they kept falling over. And you can, <laughs> I put them on the outside. <laughs> Perfect. And then my, my Jedi boots were, like, these weird cowboy work boots. And I was like, they're brown. It works. Cowboy and now Jedi. I'm like, yeah, exactly. I'm Luke Sky, Texas Walker. <laughs> I stole that from Chris Hardwick. That's not very cool. It was gonna be like he took that one. It's a funny joke. It is funny. Fuck yeah. It <laughs> um. So Star Wars is your big thing. Yeah. Safe to say. Yes, definitely. Might as well. Where would you say your fan level is? You know, some people are like I really like Star Wars and movies, and there's some people that are like, I know some stuffs. I know some stuffs. Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's definitely off the chart. However. My post-trilogy knowledge is weak. Yeah. I don't know a lot of... Um, the old Jason and Jay on us. Yeah, I mean, I know Skywalker. the gist. I well, now read the it's legend, so... Yeah, now it doesn't matter. Fuck yeah, them. right? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> but no, I was only collecting... read a lot of books for no reason. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, am collecting all the books, though, because I love to read anyway, so... Right. It's always been a, a goal to read those books, but... And I've read... Um, Heir to the Empire. Oh, sweet, so sweet. I mean, I have the basic. I have the best yeah, one anyway. You know what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, Luke's a Jedi or something. Yeah, oh, whatever. He did stuff. <laughs> Who is your favorite character? Uh, That's something I like to ask people at Star Wars because there's obviously hard. so many, and some people will pick some weird ones. I like Ben Quadraneros. Why? I, I don't know. All right. Well, uh, I'll, I'll pick two. Can I do pick that? Two. You okay. Pick, you pick my three. my like total yeah. badass. Everybody in the world knows is Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he's I dig the it. shit. One of the I, best Jedi ever. Yeah. Yeah. I know he's second best to Qui Gon, right? Yeah. That's <laughs> I, right. I saw that that's on your face. Right. I mean, if I'm that obvious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number two, number two. Uh, I don't want to be so obvious to say Revan because that's. Just is it like, Revan? It can be Revan. I don't know. I mean, I love Revan, obviously, yeah. but I'm thinking. I'm thinking Dash Rendar. That's a good one. <laughs> That's it. Dash Rendar is a good one. Because that was a big part of my childhood, too, was stories involving Dash Rendar. And right. He's badass. Yeah, dude. I was yeah. actually thinking about doing, like, a gender bend of Dash Rendar. Yeah? I was thinking about it. Yeah? It's not, it's not an official thing. think game. about it a little more than you do it. <laughs> yeah, I thought, That's a good choice. Dash Rendar, Kyle Katarn. Like yes, Kyle Katarn. Awesome. I like Red both, both of those are, like, kind of on evil, or equal standing in my book. They're kind of, like, the same character in badassery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, obviously, Revan, KOTOR. Yes. Is that why you love Revan? Because of KOTOR? Well, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. that's the first time I ever now, found Now, do Revan. you think, because obviously there's ultimate storylines, do you think Revan was good or bad? I think Revan was good. Well, yeah? I think <laughs> Did Rev he kill Malik to take over, or did he kill Malik because he's a bad guy? Because, hmm. Right. All right, now you're now you're throwing out the hard questions. Yeah, let's get real. <laughs> well, I mean, I Who played. Who is Revan to you? <laughs> <laughs> I played my Revan light side, so okay, generic answers here. But 
Now we're getting all philosophical. Like, yeah. I, I never right? thought about like the right? you know. I don't, did he have you know? I'm only here motives. because <laughs> I'm playing Kotor two right now oh, okay, again good. for like forever. Oh yeah, because they, they cut released that giant update. I was like. Yes, Finally. <laughs> thank you. And in the beginning, when you meet Atten, he mm -hmm. mentions Revan, and yeah. you have the option to be like, right. he's like, yeah, she was crazy. And yeah. you'd be like, dude, Revan was a boy. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you make Revan what he or she is. Yeah. You know, obviously, I'm a dude, so I'm like, Fuck dude, you. Revan's a dude. Revan and you're is like, a chick. Please, I've seen behind the mask. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so have I. I picked the default face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I am biased, obviously. All right, of course. But... With Revan and even Shepard, I think the better storylines are the female storylines. Yeah? Because they're just always so much more interesting, and because you're a female, you get so many more dialogue options that are critical of you being a female. That kind right. of... It's kind of like in Dragon Age. I love playing a female um, elf mage, because it's like all of the worst things that everyone hates in the world. Oh, yeah. So everywhere you go, someone's like, I hate you because you're a female. I hate you because you're a mage. I hate you because you're an elf. And I'm just like, all oh, the stories. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. I'm going to burn something. Yeah, Justify burn your, your hatred. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. I'm oh, going to have to think more on this. Right? Revan yeah. over <laughs> Where's Revan at? You know what I mean? Oh, speaking of, that novel. Not good? I did not like not it. Good. There's well, some bad ones. There's well, some really bad Star Wars books out there. I mean, the Revan yeah. novel, though. Yeah. The one that followed the... Not good. And led up to Tor. I, I, when I first read it, I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> Revan book. Yeah, I got it signed by a Jew Kirkishan and everything, and I was like, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, but I read it again, and I thought more about it, and I was like... <laughs> then you actually read it. Yeah, and then I actually read it. <laughs> and I was just like, oh. I don't really know how I feel. And I don't know if it's just because I don't like how he did the story, like oh, okay. the direction he took it, or the actual writing itself, but gotcha. um, like the Bane trilogy, I love. Bane is a crazy story. But it's a good indication of Drew's writing style, where he like starts really strong and then starts to just like drift into yeah. <laughs> laziness. He got distracted mind. right here. Yeah. Like right about halfway part. through the second book, you're just like, I feel like he's given up on this. Right. <laughs> And that's what it felt like in the Revan novel. It felt like he didn't care, and he sort of trashed most of the um, KOTOR 2 characters, oh, especially gotcha. the way he handled Exile. So. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> like that. Right. But, Playing as a girl in KOTOR, is there a love interest? In KOTOR, yeah. Yeah, who is it? In uh, KOTOR 1? Yeah. Karth. No way. Oh, yeah. Karth falls for you? What? Yeah. I'm not a girl. I haven't played it. I, I'm not oh, like... Oh, I thought you just knew I wasn't that. like 12 and like, I'm going to be a girl this That's time. That's why I said that we have it. No. <laughs> I don't I'm know. I'm a girl this I haven't time. been there. I, hey, I play male. Yeah? Sorry. Yeah, because I like to see That's all the different... <laughs> I just, I want to hit that ass, that basketball That's, ass. <laughs> it's my, to this day, one of my greatest accomplishments. Because I hated her so much that yeah, she's I was fine in the cage. No, you weren't. Because I waited 15 minutes to see if you'd move. Yeah. You don't, until I move. Yeah, she's I like hated that so well. I made I made her fall in love with me for revenge. <laughs> Perfect. It, it's like one of those like really bad romantic comedies where you're like I'm gonna make him fall in love so I can break his heart. That yeah. was me and Basco. That sounds right. Like, you were so awful. But Karth falls for you. Yeah, and he's he's very sweet. Yeah. And that's does he I talk think, about it finally? Yeah, he really does. <laughs> and it takes half the game, but you finally get to talk about it, and it's, it's beautiful. And I. And everybody's like, oh, Carly's is so annoying, and he doesn't ever talk, and blah, blah, blah. And that's uh, only if you just, like, don't talk to him <laughs> continuously. I, I, I went through, like, everyone's deep storylines. So I got, like, Jolie. Like, you know, he had a wife that he trained yeah. as a Jedi, but he was still a Padawan, and he had to kill her in the world. Yeah. Like, Dude. Dude, Jilly's got some dark shit Dude, going on. <laughs> for real. Yeah. That's why he's like hanging out in the floors of right. Kashyyyk. Mm -hmm. It's like a lot of stuff can kill me down here and I'm pretty alright with it. Yeah. And but then Karth's son is on the Sith Academy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was like some hardcore like sadness with it's, some of the characters. Hands down my favorite video game of all time. Yeah, it's it's probably it just, up there. It just stuck with me. Yeah. Uh, it's it, Star Wars. You get to create your own lightsaber. Right. You're like, I know who actually killed the hunter. Yeah. <laughs> I hated that so much. Yeah. They're like, there's a droid and two people all arguing. Which one's right? Well, I'm going to be spending three days on this one because I don't want to say it wrong. Yeah. 
But yeah, you can romance Karth. You can actually romance Juhani too. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. It's not really rewarding in any way. She <laughs> goes both Juhani, ways. But, yeah. And if you're a dude, you can also romance yeah. Juhani and she's all weird about it. It's actually really hard to romance her as a chick though. You have to do a lot of things. I did it once just to you see... You gotta buy her presents. <laughs> make her feel comfortable. You have to stroke her little cattail on her head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to find that spot that makes her purr. <laughs> in more ways than one. Uh, actually, I really hated Juhani though. Like, no, you and me I wanted both. to kill her that when whole, I first met her. Be your doom thing. I will be your doom. It's like, you know what? I know I need you, but you're pushing it, Catwoman. It's true. I love it so much, though. Battlefront's coming out. Yeah. Do you have a next gen system? I do. I do not. I have both, actually. Yeah. Which one do you like better? Uh, it's too early for me to say. There's yeah. good games on both, but there's not really that many exclusives for me to be like. Eh, right. They just got like ten games. Yeah. Is Battlefront for both? I'm actually not sure. I'm, I'm if sure. If it is, it's which one are you going to buy it for? Probably There's Xbox. your real answer. Probably yeah? Xbox. Yeah, well, because, you know, Xbox. PS4 is his, so. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. Xbox is mine. I'm a PlayStation guy. Yeah. Let's dissect the audience right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have PS2. It's great. Kingdom Hearts. Can't touch it. Ratchet and Clank. I spent an ungodly amount of hours. Wait, you can't touch Kingdom Hearts? Oh, the Kingdom Hearts is fantastic. Oh, I thought you meant like you can't touch it like it's bullshit. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> that Kingdom Disney stuff. Yeah. No, amazing. Dude, amazing. What We're do you still think? like 15 years waiting for. Now Kingdom we finally Street. get it. Yeah, but they finally announced it. I mean, yeah. it'll still be another 15 years, but at least we know what it's coming. What was the point of the trailer at the end of 2? You know, if you beat it 100%, you get that like Keyblade Wars, and it's like three yes. people in helmet. Why? I was thinking a lot about that. It's like, we Kingdom Hearts 3 yeah, 15 right. years later, and I don't see it being called Keyblade Wars. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, I I honestly, I haven't played any of the in-between Kingdom Hearts games. Yeah, yeah that's I hard. Have the... 1.5 Chain Ooh, of Memories I, I, like, I, Why you do that? But I do have the uh, 1.5 and 2.5 remix, so yeah. I went back to play them again, and they have those other games like in those remix. Yeah. So I was going to just play them. I just haven't had time to finish them. So I don't know if like the keyboard, uh, Keyblade Wars are like... Talked about thing. in any of those if other they don't, games. We need to be like, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. It was a cool sequence, though. Thanks for nothing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for getting my hopes up, bitches. For real. <laughs> so you're you're a gamer. Do you uh, consider yourself a gamer? No. What are you more yeah. into? Because <laughs> like, Danica is straight up gamer. Yeah. That's her thing. I like movies. Oh yeah. Movies are like my thing. No, games are definitely my thing. Games. I I like movies, but not like on a fanatic level. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely games. Um, it's probably my go-to. Sweet. Yeah. I got like all of my old systems still. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, they're all like packed away ready for a giant entertainment system so I can display them all. <laughs> I'm with you. I, I just bought Mickey's Xbox. Really? He has the original one. I was like, dude, I'll give you 40 bucks for it. It's like, done. Awesome. And he had KOTOR 1 and 2. Oh, like, yes. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah, because they're kind of glitchy on Steam, so they're I'm not very playing glitchy. them in their, their uh, original state. <laughs> I, I played... I played KOTOR 2 for like a week on the highest resolution, not realizing if you bring down the resolution, it skips less. <laughs> so I'm just getting angry for like a week, and I was like, wait, I don't have to live like this. I did, uh, seriously, like Frozen in this It is. Switch? Yeah, oh. welcome to the Frozen Hotel. Oh, God. Um, Elsa is your wake-up call. Ugh. It gets you right out of bed. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I started playing KOTOR 2 before they did this update. It was like a couple months ago or something. Nice. And I was just on um, Paragus, the very first level, and I kept getting stuck in the floor, and I'd have to quit the game over and over and the, over again. The mining part, when you gotta like put a shield on and get burned? Yes. Same thing. Yes. Same thing. I was like, I can't see. I'm getting stuck. I found like some workarounds. You, like, if you keep saving <laughs> continuously, <laughs> they kind of circumvent that, but you have to like keep stopping the game a little bit, but uh, eventually once you get off progress, it stops doing that. Yeah. For now, anyway. <laughs> I brought my resolution all the way down. That's oh, yeah. the problem. Uh, but I died a lot, and I got real mad. Yeah. yeah. My game is glitched. Yeah. I did a live stream of KOTOR 1. It was like a couple years ago. Yeah? When I had time. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I way did, back when. Yeah, I did for the page. Um, we did a dark side uh, female, because that's what everyone... I was. I really wanted to do male, because I wanted to do that story. Right. But everyone's like, well, we've it's never seen a female. Great. Yeah. So I did it, and I was like, fuck, this game is so much harder than I thought. I need to like put this <laughs> shit on easy, because I'm embarrassing myself. I, I'm really bad at video games. Yeah. I don't know why. It just does, never clicked with me. So I, I've always put everything on easy, so I can actually beat it. I actually like playing games on the hardest level right off the bat. Do you ever beat them? Yeah. That's but amazing to me. 
for, for some reason when I'm streaming, it's like <laughs> I get so self-conscious about it that I'm just like, I can't do this. Like Mass Effect, right out of the gate, I played on hard because Insanity wasn't unlocked. So I beat it on hard and then I unlocked Insanity and I went through and played it on Insanity. So then, because I did that, Mass Effect 2 automatically came unlocked with Insanity. So I just played my first playthrough. Oh my god. <laughs> that was... I have never, ever wanted to kill somebody more. Yeah? Oh. I was, like, ripping my controller apart. I would apart. never, Some I would of never play it. fights were impossible. I, I give up. I'd be like, that's really hard. I, I'm going to give you three more tries. If I can't beat this in three more tries, we're done. Mass Effect 3 was still hard on Insanity, but I think Mass Effect 2 is definitely the hardest well, on It's insanity. called Insanity. Yeah. Well, I, just, I like a challenge. Like you, you have, <laughs> But that's Insanity. There's, like, the regular challenge, then there's, like, you're crazy to play this. Yeah, well, I am... I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm so bad. Like, you have no idea. I remember uh, I went to my girlfriend's house, and her dad's a huge gamer. Yeah. And he was playing Left 4 Dead. Oh, I love Left 4 Dead. First off, if you want to impress your girlfriend's dad, don't pick something he's good at. <laughs> yeah. Right? So I was like, I got this. Left 4 Dead. Pass the controller, man. And I get really scared. <laughs> and and zombies run in that game. Yeah, okay? they do. I like to believe zombies don't run yeah, well. in an actuality because I have asthma, and I'm going to lose. <laughs> So, nice knowing you, Brad. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, I'm going to hole up, put like those uh, treadmills all around my house, put go. them all on high, so the zombie comes up and just flings them back. That works. Zombie proof. As long as you have like a secure route to you know, get food yeah, water. Yeah, stilts or something. Yeah. I'm, not gonna <laughs> la- I'm not going to last long, I'll be honest. <laughs> so just I need, bumping your stilts and knocking yeah, down and I'm already pile. pretty underweight. I don't <laughs> see myself lasting very long. <laughs> Well, then that might be to your advantage because you don't really have anything that they can eat. Genius. I don't think they think that way, though. No. I don't think they're going to be like, you know, he's, mm, where's the fat one? No, I don't think that's how it works. I actually I, have always been worried about zombies. Like, Yeah? What, okay, What's your zombie weird. plan? Uh, Everyone's got a plan. Actually, I wrote, <laughs> when I worked at GameStop, I actually wrote an entire zombie Good. survival guide and I sent it to all the other stores. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, but it was more of like a fantasy-based thing with, uh, characters of like all the employees in the store and stuff but there was a um, uh, Gander Mountain near our store oh, okay so that was the first point of contact of course and then, you know hitting up um, everyone says Walmart but I feel like that's just like where everyone would go yeah everyone's gonna be at Walmart and there's gonna be rednecks there that are very good at shooting people right you're not getting any supplies out no of it. so Gander Mountain first for supplies of you know ammo and weaponry and uh, and I probably tried to find just like a small grocery chain or yeah. like maybe even just like mom and pops and just raid the shit out of them. Genius. I don't even care if they're still in there. Get the fuck out! It's mine. No, I got a gun. I had this weird uh, idea as a kid that I would have. I don't know why, because when you're kids, you don't you, you don't know how stuff works. Right. And I was like, I'll just get giant ladders <laughs> and put them across buildings, there and they'll never catch us. We can like go sense. into the Seven <laughs> Eleven. Because there's a hatch. I mean, you just carry those giant ladders, ladders everywhere. Yeah, and the zombies you're good. Won't get you. <laughs> Absolutely, they don't know how to climb ladders. Hopefully. Yeah. Movies like 28 Days Later scare the shit out of me. Oh though. yeah, dude. <laughs> those are the I worst remember, kind of uh, zombie movies. Dawn of the Dead is my favorite zombie movie. Oh yeah. And they're like track stars. Yeah. There's like that one dude that like he's missing an arm and he looks over at him. And he's like, oh, and he's after him. I was like. That's when I shoot myself. You know, the first occasion of zombies that really, like, put it in perspective of how fucked we all were, were uh, was when I was playing Resident Evil. And uh, um, it was, when did they first introduce the Wii Deads or whatever? I think that was in one of the remakes Was on that GameCube. the, like, mouth openers? No, they were, like, you know, the zombies in Resident Evil are mostly kind of, like, for the most part, some of them are faster and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. most of the, like, weakling ones are slow. They just kind of, like, wander around. And one of them, I want to say it was Resident Evil... I think they remade Resident Evil 1 for the GameCube or something. Yeah. And on game, and I played it and they had a new feature where it, once you killed the zombies, they would reanimate after a while or something. And they'd be like faster and stronger and they'd nope. chase you around. I was like, nope. I'm good. <laughs> I used to have nightmares playing that game. I'm good. Did you hear, I know this is your show, but... <laughs> no, no, dude, it's your show. Did you hear that um, they Capcom is looking to do a remake of Resident Evil 2. The best Resident yeah. Evil, by the way. Yeah. Is that the one with the liquor? Yeah. The freaking thing? But that shit is scary. It's terrifying. In the movie, I was like, oh, oh it's got a brain that's exposed. Movies. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Movie, so. that's right. They got Michelle Rodriguez, who's like the ultimate zombie badass, I guess. <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> Whatever. I'd be afraid of her in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what she's got. There's a machete somewhere. Yeah. 
And then actually machete somewhere. Because they're in everything <laughs> together. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh... Zombies I think I'm pretty good at because, I mean, nobody's gonna last too long. Especially, like, 28 Days Later, there's, like, that scene where Brendan Gleeson's character, like, looks up at a crow and then a drop of blood. I was like... Right in the eye. That's, that sucks. Oh, yeah. That's just horrible. You made it, like, all the way to the end. He didn't even get bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No. That dude is like a crow drooled, and that guy's now undead. It's That's not so fair. It's so sad, yeah. And then they got that whole like mansion sequence. That was a weird movie. Yeah, it was a weird movie. It was yeah. a good movie. It was good. I like that movie. That good. movie also breaks me out. I love horror. It's my favorite genre. Yeah? So I like horror movies, and I like horror games, but they What do you like about out. horror movies? Because my girlfriend's way into them. That's her favorite, and I'm like, eh, okay. I don't like, uh, like slashers or... Um, American horror mostly because it's all like boom, oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, okay. jump out and scary. I like that psychological terror. The ones that you're not so you're kind of scared when you're watching a movie or you're playing the game, but it's not until you've turned off the lights and you're going to bed and you start thinking about it that you're just like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, actually, in that vein, what's the first movie that gave you nightmares? Then? Oh my god, I don't even know. Jurassic Park, honestly. Yeah, it wasn't even a I got you. Movie. Yeah, oh my god. Did you just envision the T-Rex coming in? Yes. Even your dog and you? Yeah, and it, I, it was because of um, that sequence where the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex comes in and eats the dog. Yep. <laughs> I used the to house like hanging from his mouth. I, was like, I used oh, that's to, mean. yeah, I used to like turn on all the lights and stuff. I'm like, we can't have the lights on because they'll see us. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. I love those movies. They're badass. I still haven't seen the new one though. I did. It's Terrible. good. I've heard. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It's it's like a sequel to the first one. Awesome. They okay. referenced the first one the whole movie. Good. Like a dude's wearing a Jurassic Park shirt, and they're like, "Dude, bad taste." It's like he's like, "Okay, I know people died, but it's, it's still a great shirt." Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, I just haven't had time. It's so hard. That's mostly why I'm not as in the movies because right. uh, it's too hard for me to like take time and I go to the theater or rent the movie or whatever but I love to when I have that time yeah, yeah, sit absolutely. down and just like watch four movies straight or something I had um, I had a producer on a producer of a movie who's crazy into horror like that's his thing yeah and, like our Star Wars is his horror movies he yeah. loves awesome. any and all of them good or bad whatever he just loves it and uh, he was talking about when he was a kid he was terrified of all horror movies mm. like under six years old. Yeah. He used to go into KB Toys and during the Halloween time they would have the masks and he wouldn't walk down the aisle because it would scare him. <laughs> now he's like, yeah, right in the eye. Like, loves blood and gore. <laughs> it's nuts. I, I remember the first movie that ever gave me nightmares was called Darkness Falls. Have you ever seen that? That sounds really familiar. So, I'm not sure. when I was 12, it was the scariest movie I've ever seen in my life. I had nightmares <laughs> for like a month. I tried to show my girlfriend this movie, and she's like, really? Whatever. And I was like, okay, hindsight, it's not that scary, but that's because I'm an adult now. Yeah. There was like, the whole thing is, there was this old woman forever ago in a village, and she was a dentist or something, and when a kid's last baby tooth came out, they would like give it to her, right? Right. Well, something along the lines of like Freddy Krueger or whatever, they're like, she's touching the kids, let's burn her alive, <laughs> or something. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> and the idea is, in this town... I believe it was called Darkness Falls, mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. For the sake of argument, right? Darkness Falls. <laughs> okay, cool. Horrible place to live. <laughs> right. Who Should have known there? when you moved there, stupid. <laughs> but it's like when you lose your last baby tooth, mm -hmm. you put it under your pillow, and she comes and gets it. It's like this undead spirit thing that flies that can't be seen in the light, oh, right? That's nice. <laughs> if you look at her, she kills you. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> All right, she's this like Dementor-looking thing with oh a white God. mask, and. The main kid is there, and they're like, oh, yeah, she's coming tonight. And I was like, I don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> I'm and done, I'm so done. it's under his table. It's all quiet. It does that whole thing where he's, like, looking under the covers, and it's fine. And then she gets in his face real quick, and you scream. I scream. Maybe not other people. I scream. And then he runs to the bathroom and turns the light on. And he's, like, screaming. So yeah. somehow got away from it. Well, he's screaming, and his mom comes in. And she's like, what are you talking about? There's nothing in here. And it kills his mom. Oh, no. Now, that wasn't what got me. What got me is it, it pans out. Mom? Yeah. <laughs> well, please. That mom should have been a better parent. <laughs> Where's the dad? <laughs> this was her fault. Just get really weird into it. She sent him away. <laughs> we just make up a whole backstory Yeah, dad. exactly. She deserved it. He shouldn't have went crazy. Cheating whore. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even his baby tooth, was it? <laughs> they had this scene where, like, He's in the bathroom and the light's showing and it pans out from the bathroom and then you see her like on the wall, top of the windowsill, and then it switches scenes. Ugh. That right there I was like, I'm not sleeping for a month. Yeah. That, so that was kinda crazy. like a Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the mattress and the... Oh, the, yeah, the freaking blood fountain. Yeah. Uh, Goodbye, yeah. Johnny Depp. Yeah, yeah bye. Fun. See you later. Nice to you. should have picked better music. <laughs> <laughs> this was also your own fault. <laughs> Everything that you die for is That's your fault. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start watching horror movies and, like, attributing intricate backstories for all there the characters. There you go. That'd actually, that'd be fun. Like, she died because she was a cheerleader last year and rolled her ankle, so she couldn't run very fast. <laughs> I mean, you never see Jason running, he always catches him. <laughs> that, I always find that to be the scariest of any horror situation is when, when the thing chasing you don't doesn't run because they know they're going to catch you. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty terrifying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my girlfriend's the opposite. If they run, she's like, I can't outrun them. <laughs> she's terrified. It's like Freddy Krueger like, being all cool and then like, running. Yeah. And loses it. Oh, my God. Which is great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yes, I bounce around a lot. So okay. I made an and I'm like, oh yes. Me too. Cards to love interest to <laughs> it was your fault you died in a horror movie. <laughs> so we're gonna have Ken on. I wanna know how you found Ken. I actually found Ken through a mutual friend whose name is Chase Rivera. Oh, and sweet. he's a Paige fan and he's also Ken's like probably best friend at this point I'd say. <laughs> one of my first customers. Yeah, he's That's one sweet. of his first customers. So um, Chase well my first Lightsaber was an ultra saver. I have is, like four. They're huge. Yeah, they're they're not well. My they're also a lot better <laughs> than they yeah. were when I got one, which was like five years ago. It's right. just basically gray PVC. Yeah, it's a two. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, it's so stupid looking. And I I was so excited when I first got it because it was like bright. I was like, yay! I got a lightsaber. <laughs> I get run it over with a car. Yeah. I watched this video. <laughs> I got one that's like finally it doesn't like extend like you know the oh, plastic yeah. kid ones. <laughs> So I was excited about that, and then I would take pictures as Atrace, and people would be like, I like everything, but her saber looks stupid. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I tried so hard. Yeah, and so Chase, um, he told me about Ken's work, and he showed me like pictures and stuff, and I was like, holy shit. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, and they are pricier, but obviously oh, worth dude, the you cost. You get what you pay for. Right, definitely. Stuff. Absolutely. So at first I was kind of like, I don't know about that. I don't know if I can afford that shit. And I didn't want sound either. And Ken was like, you have to get sound. So I was like, fine, I'll get sound. And then I was like, once I got them, I mean, I have my unboxing video on YouTube. So I've seen it. Yeah, it's, it, it tells all right there. I was just like, wow, every last penny is worth. Oh, yeah. Every Absolutely. last penny. It's just, well, this is, you know, exception right here. It's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> I'll show. <laughs> yeah, and so ever since then, um, you know, I started talking to Ken a lot, and we became yeah. good friends, and now I'm his bitch. <laughs> nice. Right. Well, I mean, you got a couple of pretty sweet savers out of the deal. I, I did. Well, I mean, I still paid for them, so there's not much then. <laughs> yeah. <of> deal, <laughs> Exchange of services. Yeah, they're, they're still badass. You went to a dark place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about how attractive he is. <laughs> uh, right? <laughs> and I right now wish this was a video podcast, <laughs> just for what that happened right now. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, now for the hard-hitting questions. You went to Celebration. I did. I'm way jealous about it. I know. <laughs> Were you at the panel, like the big one, with BBA? I don't know. I didn't go to any panels, actually. Did you see John Boyega or Daisy Ridley? No. Okay, cool. So we're basically the same. <laughs> we're the same, right? <laughs> yeah, it's... When I go to a convention, it's hard for me to go to panels because I also have ADD. And I do not, I'm not a line person. Like, I stood in line for Carrie Fisher today for two hours and I wanted to shoot my brains out. I'm doing that tomorrow. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. It was not fun today because she was like an hour and a half late. So, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. I'm, well, at least she showed up because normally she doesn't. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But no, she was great. She was, I loved her. She was sweet. And she actually, um, I don't have it here, but my other saber, I took it and I let her, she wanted to hold it, so I let her hold it. And what? she was just like, oh, it's so beautiful. Who made this? And I got to drop the Hamptons Name bomb. Drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, she, she was really cool, though. But um, That's so cool. Yeah, I'm, I can't stand in line. So if it's like a huge uh -huh. panel, I can't do that. And right. ironically, I am not a big crowd person. Right. Yeah, Go right? figure. Yeah, cosplay. Go for <laughs> right. it. You wear a mask, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> well, sometimes, maybe. Anyway. But, yeah, so it's just I, I can't sit still long enough for a panel. Occasionally, I will go to a panel. Oh yeah, some are like you have to. Yeah, but uh, one like with J.J. Abrams or uh, right. that big opening thing that they did, and just like the characters, I can't sit through that. And right. I also don't want to ruin anything about the movie. I've you tried can? very hard to not spoil the movie. Yeah? yeah. Have you seen the behind the scenes thing? I did see the behind the scenes. Okay. That yeah. thing brought me to tears. <laughs> you and me both. Yeah. I. 
I'm an emotional dude. Yeah. I'm in touch with myself. <laughs> all right? I've had to become this acting and stuff, but I've never had happy tears before. Anytime I've cried, I'm like, it's because my dog died or like something awful yeah, that right? warrants tears. Yeah. That real tears. Dude, even the, the trailer, right when uh, Han came on with uh, Chewie and I... We're home. <laughs> tears right uh, down my face. And every time I see it to this day, I continue to cry. Yeah. Oh, I'm just seen, like, finally. <laughs> I, a lot of people hate the prequels. I love the prequels. I was the right age and I loved the uh, original trilogy so much. <laughs> That the prequels enhanced the old yeah. for me. Like, in, in episode four, you get Ben being like, oh, we fought the Clone Wars. <laughs> and then you're like, I know what that was like. I was there too. <laughs> when Order 66 happened, I cried. Yeah. All nine times in theaters. I I will get shot for saying this. And I actually mentioned this uh, a Here few we go. weeks ago. I really like the Phantom Menace. I love the Everybody Phantom Menace. Everybody hates that. I hated Jar Jar. I don't okay. think anybody likes yeah? Jar Jar. I dug him at eight. Oh. I dug him at eight. Get he wasn't my favorite, but I dug him. No, I don't like Jar Jar, but well, it has Obi Wan and all right. Going into the Phantom Menace, okay. I was already in love with Obi Wan. Okay. Not in like a creepy way because yeah. at that point, the you only saw, time I'd seen him, he was like an old man. You saw Ben, and you're like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I really liked Obi Wan Kenobi, but I also read. Um, I can't remember the title. Jedi Apprentice. Jedi Academy. Oh no, yeah, Jedi Apprentice, the series about Qui Gon and Obi Wan growing up. Exactly. I read them. Obsessed. Amazing. See, Qui Gon. <laughs> yeah. See? No, Qui Gon was badass. Yeah. Please. Yeah, I mean, Qui Gon's in general Qui-Gon's is badass. My favorite character. Yeah. But I just, I loved those books so much. And, Same. And then going into uh, the people. Actually, I'm not sure. Those books probably came out after the movies, didn't they? Yes. Okay, so I probably saw the movie first and then I read those books. And there's 18 of them. Yeah, there are. But I have them all. <laughs> so I have almost all of them. Yeah. They're, they're pretty bad. They're so good. They are. They're so good. They I don't, are. I've never met someone who's read them. So really? it's like, sweet. <laughs> Yeah, no, they're they're absolutely like one of my top favorite yeah. uh, book series, and I don't care that they're for like young adults. <laughs> no, that just means I can read it faster. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's still awesome. But no, I mean, just I like um, it was, Attack of Clones. I don't like. I've only actually yeah. ever seen it twice. Yeah. Yeah, and I've uh, seen it more times than I care to admit. Yeah. Uh, it's not my favorite. It's it probably not. my least favorite out of all. It's all-over. boring. It's like I just, it's the fact pace. when Anakin was like, I don't like sand. I was like, <laughs> you make a lot of promises and cry in this movie, Anakin. Yeah, yeah it's really I bad. see why, but... Yeah. So okay. one, and, one and three are, like, uh, my favorites, I guess, of the, the right. trilogy. Three, I think, is better. The I best lo- of three. Three's my favorite out of all six. Definitely. And then, out of all six? Out of all six. What? It's something about that one. Like, I love four, five, and six. I love them all, to be honest. Yeah. Star Wars is Star Wars to me. But... Three was the one that like I was the right age. This is my movie. I saw it nine times in theaters. It just everything just clicked. I am an Empire fanatic. I, yeah. Yep. I know it's like typical. Everyone's like, oh yeah, Empire Strikes Back is the best. Empire. I can't great. help it. It's, it's. I liked six growing up. Yeah. Something about Jabba's palace, all the different aliens. It was awesome. Luke has a green lightsaber now, and he's not playing anymore. Yeah, he's. I ain't Dude. playing. I'm, I'm almost whole, like dark side right. That here. whole him just like, hey Jabba. Last chance. Yeah. He's such a badass. He's a prisoner and he's like threatening the dude. And he's far away. What's he going to do? I'll tell you what he's going to do. R2's going to give him a lightsaber. That's green. That was when you really first saw like some serious Jedi bullshit and action. Oh, yeah. (laughs) For real. It was was pretty epic. And then you find out how stupid Boba Fett actually is. Oh, Oh, poor Boba. I I really hope that they do go with the... EU version where he's still alive. Yeah. Back. I know that they have a standalone, but I think it's a prequel. Or, or there, a, there was a standalone book they had of Boba Fett, and it was nuts. He's like book, dying, yeah. and he because he's a clone, right. obviously. And I guess when the Empire took over the Republic, they destroyed all the cloning facilities. And Boba Fett is like trying to track down one of the community scientists to help him because he's dying. Uh, it's sad. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, Stuff after episode six is nuts. Yeah. Some of it's really good. Some of it is so dumb. Yeah. There's like the emperor cloned himself a thousand times. Yeah. And the spirit body hops, and he wants to hop into Luke like some. I really weird hope they thing. don't go that direction with the movies. I don't think they will. What are you most excited for in seven? Honest, all of it. All, all of it. All but of it. I'm actually, and I will get struck down for saying this, but I'm excited good. just seeing the direction they're going to take it because yeah? I feel like they're going to pull elements of the. Uh, the post e or the post trilogy that everyone wants, yeah. but they won't do the full story, and I'm just excited to see what JD does because I have faith. <laughs> yeah, oh, I have total faith. That's gonna be awesome. Disney's not gonna drop four billion dollars in the first wars. Everybody's like, terrible. oh, Disney, Disney's 
it's the kids and stuff, but Look at Marvel. Disney has a good exactly. Look at Marvel. I always pull up Marvel. Oh, yep. Marvel is uh, you know, the Avengers is badass and Oh yeah. Avengers is perfect. Yeah. It's so good. Avengers just, 2 is slightly lackluster for me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You can't beat that first time the Avengers are together. Yeah. That like spin around shot of them, right. I was like, there was, oh. yeah, there was some weird elements of Avengers 2, but yeah. it was still a pretty good movie. Yeah, I enjoyed it. But um, yeah, just yeah. I mean, just because they make movies mostly for children doesn't mean their no. track record with stories are like phenomenal. Oh, especially yeah. like the the old school like hand drawn cartoons oh, movie yeah, days. Absolutely. I, I still ball my ass I, off when Mustafa dies. I, 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 can't, I can't watch Fox and the Hound. Fuck that movie. Can't that is, do it. That is like one of my can't favorite movies, but I fuck can't that do movie. it. The same thing is Leave in the Forest. Forest. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> I still see it. And then the song like, starts playing and she's driving uh, away uh, looking uh, in the rear view mirror and I'm just it. like, oh. You didn't God. have to do that. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all. You loved you. I loved you. It's horrible. That is a that. that is an awful. The real story, uh, the one that it's based on, is even worse. Yeah, it is even more I can't hardcore. Do it. It's I can't handle it. Yeah. I can't do that, and I can't do Dumbo either. Dumbo, the whole is like them making fun of him all the time. I was like, yeah. you guys leave me alone. It's time on elephant. He's just got big ears. Yeah, and he's gonna fly. Yeah. And all you bitches can stay in the ground. <laughs> you can suck his dick while he's yeah. flying. For real, he's an elephant. <laughs> so that's pretty big. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> just overanalyze it. <laughs> He's gonna grow up and be a giant elephant flying. And you know what else is flying? His dick. And John Dope Dick. He's gonna drop bombs on your ass. I'm. I can't wait to see BB-8. I don't know what it is about that droid. He's but pretty I cool looking. Like you see, like the. Um, they made like a replica. The actual and, like prop walked down on stage. Yeah, to be like bitches, he ain't. <laughs> and nobody knows how it works. That's the best part. Yeah, it's the cool. The people who made it does, and a bunch of like well, scientists so. and people. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, they just. Well, wow, it works. Holy shit, it came to life. We, <laughs> we just, hope he comes back. We're not controlling him. Disney put their magic tears on it. it yeah, just suddenly exactly. came This to is life. the power of Disney. <laughs> he runs on his own. <laughs> That's why JD is like watching him. We're like, oh god, is he gonna Fuck. go back? <laughs> is he gonna go back? I didn't He's know he was here. Yeah, right. He got out of the X wing. He Stop just rolls him. off into the audience. <laughs> yeah. Starts like just Serve wrecking, me. knocking over cameras. <laughs> bb 8s a badass. You got time for that? Oh my god. That's why him and R2 don't get along. Yeah. R2's got stuff to do, and bb 8s just knocking stuff over. <laughs> Dude, R2 is definitely the hero of all of Star Wars. R2. R2 is the only one that I'm like, you know, you'd think he'd tell people what he knows. He didn't get his mind wiped. <laughs> He's like, fuck you guys, you can figure it out. I'm right? just sitting back here yeah. laughing. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, 3PO. Oh. Nobody likes him. <laughs> I read this whole thing. I love 3PO. Yeah. And, uh, I read this entire thing about why George Lucas was so like adamant about Jar Jar. <laughs> and when everyone's like, you know, sending like the death pictures. And he's like, I don't care. I'll put him in episode two as a senator. Look at me, bro. <laughs> it's because of 3PO. Really? When episode four came out, everyone hated C3PO. Oh, really? Hate, like, hated it. Watch episode five again and count how many times they either tell him to shut up or yeah. they turn him they, off. They treat him like Or he shit. gets blown up. Yeah. <laughs> it's because everyone hated him. And he's like, okay, okay, we'll get rid of 3PO. We'll still have it. Yeah. So when Jar Jar came around, like, we hate him. He goes, I don't care. Man, I'll, must, you know, I'll put him in episode three too. They, so, they must have hated then when C three PO became like a god to the Ewoks. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, <laughs> golden rod. Yeah. <laughs> I do hate Jar Jar though. I don't think yeah. there's any redeeming that asshole. <laughs> what got me was, um, have you seen the Clone Wars? Yes. He's unbearable. This whole like, we think he's a Jedi diplomat. I was like, I can't do this. Oh, that episode was awful. I can't do awful. this. I, Clone Wars was a slow burn for me. Because of Ahsoka. Really? Because of Ahsoka. I love her now. Because okay. I've seen all of it. Okay. But I hated the fact that she existed. Because she, she didn't pepper. make sense. I was like, you're telling me this dude had an apprentice for three years, and then episode three rolls around, and he's like, I'm not going to be a master? He's not going to be like, oh, did you forget about my Padawan? Yeah. Like, what? No, he would have said something. But the way they ended it, like, no, he wouldn't. Because that ended not so good. Oh. I... But, First two seasons of Clone Wars, and I didn't watch it when it was actually running. Yeah, I watched it. Netflix. Yep. Same. So I watched um, it all just back, 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 back. All and right, the first two seasons were really hard to get through Snips because. and Sky Guy. Yeah, it was very geared to kids, obviously, oh, yeah. at that time. Oh, yeah. But as soon as season three started up, it got holy real. Shit. Some of those clone arts. Man. The one. I, uh, I cry every time one of those fucking clone oh, troopers die. Hard Case was my favorite. Fives. 
Fives? Oh, fives is great. His is fives the worst. Is the worst. <laughs> yeah, it's like the whole. Oh, that yeah, was the too conspiracy. much. Conspiracy, and he. Fives he knew. knew the truth, and he they were knew. just like, whatever, Fives, and then he's dead. <laughs> I, I remember I went on this rant on Instagram because of General Krell. Oh. I was like, who's this bastard? He's a Jedi? <laughs> You're telling me this guy's it? I got so offended. I was like, no, 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 I'm a Jedi. That guy's not. He is a dick. And he's terrible. And then he's like, basically a Sith. I was like, oh, ooh, oh we're good. Got it. He's not one of us. And then they killed him. I was like, thank yes. God. <laughs> but no, uh, oh, what, what is it called? The, the Villo Beast or what is the, the, the big, like, the dinosaur Shredder. dragon thing? It was in one of the earlier episodes where. Is it the old guy? No, it's a, it's like a monster, and they had to. Kill oh, it. the friggin' yeah, yeah, yeah. What the animal, and they're like, why well, don't you don't have to kill it? And they kill it anyway. Oh god, that was I so forget. sad. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, Zilla monster. Zilla, 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 Zilla beast. beast. Yeah, nah, I was like Zilla beast something, or whatever. Or something something like that. Something illo. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. I don't edit these, so we'll just oh, pretend that we like <laughs> do the right name over it in a different voice. <laughs> Zilla. <Yeah. laughs> and then it was that Zilla beast. <laughs> No, that was a sad one. That was really sad. Oh my god, I was just like, is it, I have this one screen cap. I think it's um, um uh, <laughs> I forgot his. Oh, it's basically dude. I was just like Sam Jackson. What the name? fuck's yeah. his name? You know, again? purple lightsaber, <laughs> the only black Jedi. He's just standing there, and it's like a big shot of uh, Zilla Beast's head and just like his sad oh, eye, yeah. and I'm just like, <laughs> I can't handle this. <laughs> Oh, man. But no, I, Ahsoka was annoying, but she ended up, I really ended up liking her by the I end because lot. she has such great character development. And that freaking, like, the Death Watch arc when she lands in the middle of four and cuts all their heads off. I took a screenshot of that, oh, too. Like, oh, I was just, like, taking screenshots oh. of all that shit. But, like, I got one, like, mid-cut off of the head just, like, floating off. And I'm like, I can't believe this is in this uh, kid's show. Dude, you, know? you know what got me? There was a... Uh, when they have the, the droids break into the Senate and just mow everybody down. Oh, I was like, yeah. this is a kid show. I know. They just killed like seven people. Seriously, it, it got wow. dark as hell. Like, oh man. Which is great. It's Clone Wars. Like, it's supposed to be dark. Right, yeah. You know how many people died? <laughs> yeah. I, um, I haven't watched Rebels. I've heard it's... Rebels was great. I've heard that it's on that kiddie vein, but I expect it's that it'll get dark. Ezra. Just like, uh, Ezra's the issue. Because yeah. Ezra's very like angsty kid. Okay. He's the boy Ahsoka. Yeah, you know okay. what I mean? But if you get past him, it's a it's so Macquarie. Uh, well, I want to watch so it. Good. I haven't finished the sixth season of Clone Wars because they had oh, just released it, and I had already it. finished the, the five, great. and I you know haven't got around to it. Well, well, no, I mean I did watch some of it because five's died. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm like halfway through spoiler it. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Oh, spoiler. Alert. Just spoiler, kidding. Spoiler. You should already know that. If you're <laughs> yeah. It's your fault. It's been out for a while. <laughs> so yeah, I watched. I, I think like half of it. Um, so yeah. I didn't want to. I just wanted to watch it in sequential order. Of course. And I'm not sure that. It's related at all. I've heard people say like, "Who cares? Just watch Rebels because it's not." Oh, it's Clone Wars and Rebels. It well, is I know it's related, but I don't think it like picks up. It's like thirty years later or something, I can't right? Tell or you that. Fifteen years or whatever. Okay, I whatever. Say, I'll watch it. I can say finish Clone Wars. <laughs> okay, fine. And then you will enjoy Rebels. Okay. Rebels is great. It's, I, yeah. I like it a lot. I want to watch it just because everyone's like, "Fuck Rebels." I'm like, ah, I'm not like it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you also said that about the Phantom Menace. <laughs> <laughs> I. uh... I always bring everything back to Qui Gon because it's yeah. my favorite. Okay, and uh, Qui-Gon he was in the Clone death. Wars. He was in the Clone Wars. Yes. And I was like, and they got Liam Neeson to do his voice. Did they really? They did. And they got Frank Oz to do Yoda's voice in Rebels. Oh, badass! For like one episode. Oh, I was like, oh, this is it. But uh, yeah, yeah, Clone Wars was just so good. The the arts, like, yeah, the beginning was very very rough. Did you watch the, the other Clone Wars? The, it was like oh, the shorter Oh, the Jenny Dean Karkovsky? Dude, that one was like Amazing. badass. I own it on DVD. <laughs> oh, I, I don't I own it, it, but so I watched it. Uh, my friend had it, and we just watched the whole thing straight. And I was like, oh, this thing is like... Did you ever watch them on TV when they came out? Um, well, It was like I Wednesday think, nights for three minutes after a show. It, I didn't watch them on TV, but right at the time that they had released like the, the set or something on DVD is when um, my friend invited so me over, and we good. just came watching them. So they are good. very good. I love it. Yoda riding the freaking llama thing. <laughs> the whole uh, Ilum temples with the Jedi crystal. Yeah, Amazing. it was. It was pretty bad. It was. Well, I mean, obviously stylistically. And oh yeah, it was Samurai Jack was Star Wars. Different than the, cl- the other Clone Wars, but. And then the clones like never talked. They were all hand signals. <laughs> Rex has two pistols because he's a badass. <laughs> Rex like is we're gonna do that in the Clone Wars. Yeah. We're borrowing that guy. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh man. So, Star Wars Celebration, you met the Bioware piece, Obsidian. 
Yes. Evo. Yes, Obsidian. Yes. How was that? It was amazing. I. They did Kotor two and one. No. Kotor I did two. it backwards with my fingers. Bioware two did. And one. Bioware did one and Obsidian picked up. The Obsidian sequel, did two. Which is two. Yeah. Okay. I'm playing that game now. Okay. Have you never played it before? Is this what I've, you're telling I've me? i played it like five or six times on Xbox. Okay. never played it on the Mac. Okay, okay. Well, and like I haven't played it since. Do you have the restored content mod? I get that question a lot, and I don't know how to don't. answer it. You, you don't know that you I have downloaded it, it on Steam and then pressed play. I think it's separate. I, I think don't so know too, if they packaged it's called it. a mod. Yeah, but I, I know that they put it on Steam, but I don't know if they like integrated it into the original game file or if you still have to download it separate or anything. But you Probably. need to do that because it adds. I've heard so much it's more. amazing. Yes. I just don't know how to do it. Um, there, I'll send you a link. There's Sweet. a there's a page to download it, and then once you install it, it's I pretty much I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do is just install it, and then it's good to go. I don't think you have to do anything like specific or technical. Sweet. But you definitely need to play it. It opens up a couple new. Um, well, it opens up a lot of dialogue and cinematic extras yeah. that got cut. As well as like an extra planet and stuff like that. So. Oh, what? An extra planet? Yeah. yeah. That's really. Do it. <laughs> yeah. But no, meeting of sitting was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, they're so amazing. It was just like nice to meet um, Brian Minzy, who's the we character made artist. Atris. Yeah. We made all the characters. So, oh really? Yeah. It was just, like he's he's a big goofy teddy teddy bear too. Did you do with the beard? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's a badass. But he just like I don't know seeing him tear up because I was keeping his work alive is like that's that's the dream. That's it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's really cool. So, I, I love the dark side Atris. I, I don't like Atris. Love your yeah, costume, no. but Atris is like Atris the new Bastila but worse. <laughs> yeah. Because she she's like, I'm I'm a temple, but I know everything. Atris is misunderstood. Bastila was I don't need your help. Atris is like I know everything. And yeah, she like, doesn't know it all. But well, you're gonna go dark side? She's a story. Well she's That's the lamest by... job you can have as a Jedi. Jocasta new? Oh, not a cool character. <laughs> if it's well, not in our records, it doesn't exist. Okay, well, thanks for your help. Um, it's obviously there. In 20 minutes, we're going to Camino. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, she was surrounded by all the dark side relics. And she's, I honestly think because of the way that the game was rushed and some of the, the story was not as clear as it could be, I think she just like got, gets a bad rap because... She, she doesn't really get the, the depth of her character that she deserves. Because she's like, terrible? She's not terrible. She was a prominent member of Jedi Council. and So when, was Anakin. You know, oh, fuck Anakin. <laughs> but when Mitra, the exile, went off to the Mandalorian Wars with Revan, yeah. she, she was kind of like a, a big source of inspiration, but also like a, she like mentored her. You know? like right. she, she really looked up to her. And, had a love for her, so when she did that and betrayed the Jedi ideals, basically it was like hard hitting. So she you know, got Went real butt hurt about it. <laughs> <laughs> so and then she basically killed all of the Jedi because she orchestrated the um, meeting on Qatar with all of the major Jedi officials, so that they could, as a ploy to lure out that dark presence they were all feeling. Which she, which she didn't know that obviously Nihilus was like a force eating asshole. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, he, the real problem yeah, she that didn't Scion's e a red herring. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't expect everybody to die, obviously, but she was also was not on the planet. Yeah. So she's left to basically pick up the remains and rebuild the Jedi Order. And I think she had good intentions. And she had definitely good intentions with the handmaidens and making them so that they were kind of like her force resistant bodyguards but yeah. all of that time in an underground bunker in seclusion surrounded by Go dark side relics crazy. yeah she went nuts so so I, that's my take on her that's I actually think. really nice of you to defend her like that <laughs> it's like when you when you're talking to someone about someone that you don't like yeah. and they're like no trust me we hang out they're really cool you're like <laughs> I i'm swear, sure they are the to chance. you You'll like them I but promise. i don't remember having the same experience <laughs> Well, she does steal your lightsaber. Is kind of a bitch about it. Yeah, that's pretty awful. That's actually one of my favorite little Easter eggs. All of my Atreus pictures, I'm using Revan's lightsaber, and I it's like my little inside joke because she's like a saber thief. I dig it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. For the light side version, anyway. Of I, course. I have my own for dark side, obviously, because that one's bad. I cannot believe you got your tabers to light up. That took so much work. I don't even know how you did. Uh, again, 200 LEDs anything, so. and a lot of soldering and wiring. That is insane. 
it was fun. I, I found that I really like electrical work. Yeah? Yeah. You found your niche? Yeah. I right. like wearing the costume when it's done. That's <laughs> that my is a nice feeling. Part. That is a nice feeling. Yeah. Building it, I get so frustrated. So I why do. Why am I even making this? It is a frustrating process, especially sewing. I hate sewing. I can't sew. I have a sister that I just throw <laughs> fabric at. Have it! <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I think prop building and stuff like LEDs and stuff, right. That's I really enjoy it because I can just sit and zone out on it for 14 hours and just work, 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 work. That's sewing, awesome. it's like, I gotta uh, find a pattern and yeah. I gotta cut that pattern to the right size. And then I gotta like find the fabric and then I gotta lay it out on the fabric and then I gotta cut that fabric. Cool. And I gotta pin that fabric together, and then I gotta sew it 800 times because I keep fucking it up. Right. And then you gotta feed the fabric just right. Ah, oh, damn it, this thing. Oh, and then wrong. it's all stretchy fabric that I choose, so it's like moving oh. everywhere, and I'm just like, oh. why? That's God. just that just sounds terrible. Yeah, it's it's terrible. They don't tell you that. When no, like, no. Oh, you want to be a cosplayer? It's a ton of fun. Yeah. Actually, it's fun when you're done. Yeah, it's fun when you're done. <laughs> Everything else sucks. Yeah, the building up, like I've gone through like six lemon heads. You have no idea. <laughs> But I can tell you the difference between a lemon and a banana top. I bet you can. They are so similar when you're trying to cut it and get it wrong. <laughs> Bananas are square. <laughs> For all you listeners that are wondering. Lemons have a weird like nipple nub on their top. A nipple. Which is very hard to do out of foam in 3D. I it's imagine awful. so. I'd imagine it probably takes a lot of shaving and heat. <laughs> yeah. Patience. Patience. Which I usually have a lot of. Except when it comes to making lemons, right. <laughs> which is ironic. Yeah, I, I really like working with foam though. When I was making Ken's Kylo Ren mask, that was like yeah. my favorite. Oh, that was thing to amazing. Do. I was also under a time crunch, oh, so that was like the the stressful part of it. But yeah. I I loved doing it, and I have a thankfully to all of you who have commissioned me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being patient for all of these months. Um, She's busy podcasting. So yeah, I'm busy like, podcasting. Guys, <laughs> now, I'm really I put off the finishing. I've had like five or six people commission me to make them a mask. Yeah? yeah. But I, they have to wait because I'm in a time crunch for Kasumi. I only have All like right. three, three or four more weekends to finish Dragon it up. Con? Yeah. So, and it's not anywhere near being done. But as soon as that's done, I'm going to go full force on those commissions, knock them out because I love that. Right, that is right. like, that is what I wanted. When I got into cosplay, I made a page. I'm like, I want to be... Punish props, even though I didn't know who punish props was. But that was the one to be. I want to be this thing of props, <laughs> which I will punish. Yeah. And, and then I, they showed up, and you're like, ah, oh, damn it, that's yeah. a great name. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, I need a better name. Right? Yeah. Oh, but, well, that sucks. I'm not using punish props anymore. Yeah. I'll do Bill Duran. Wait, no. That's his name. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are wizards. Uh, yeah, they're not no, real people. I'm nowhere near that level that, I, that I would like to be. They're not real. Yeah, they're not real. They're For fake. Real. <laughs> they take those like boosters from KOTOR and just beep, and then they know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, you used EVA foam? Craft foam? I use both. Both. I actually use Warbler I don't too. understand either, so that's yeah. the same to me. I, that was actually my first time using EVA yeah? foam. Yeah? Yeah. Did was, you use pattern? Uh, I made patterns, kind of. Do you know what Peppercore is? Yes. I don't. Uh, well, okay, in that vein, no. <laughs> I know the, what it does, and I know what it's supposed question. to do. <laughs> Are you but, as clueless as I am? <laughs> <laughs> I actually did look for a Peppercura for Kylo Ren's mask, just to see, but I couldn't find one. And then I was like, I watched, like, Kamui Cosplay do a Peppercura something or another, and I was like, fuck that. She's <laughs> also magic. Like, yes. And from she across the pond. Idol. They got, like, plants. They're like, right. got it. My stuff's going to light up tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> just plants. <laughs> but it's nothing. Yeah, they got herbs to that smell, and it's good juju. And no, she, she is definitely my cosplay idol, and I've learned so much. Just I bought all her books. Just from her nice. Instagram posts, I'm like, ah. Oh. That I want freaking that. <laughs> claw gun thing she made recently? Yes. Like, that thing is, like, ridiculous. Did you not buy this? I watched her build it, and I was like, is this not bought? Yeah, no, she fucking Nuts. made that thing, hands, it's crazy. like, from scratch, and, oh. So who, yeah. so that's your favorite? Your oh, favorite yeah. cosplayer? Definitely, Kamui? hands down. I want to be her. Yeah? Yeah. I like Ryan Wells. He, uh, he does, what does he know, he, he's getting renowned now for doing a Martin Joe from Mad Max. Okay. Flawless. Oh, good. He, um, he's done Falcor, actual really? Falcor. <laughs> he's done Hoggle. From Labyrinth. Oh wow! He's done a uh, Martian from Mars Attacks. He got cool. like, it's all movie stuff. I wonder if I've seen him from Martian. Then I saw. Like, it's phenomenal. Is he local or where is he from? Seattle. Seattle. Okay. I think. I'll have to look him up. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Of his. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of male cosplayers because they don't. Me get, too. They don't get the like attention. <laughs> yeah, they don't get the attention they deserve. So, 
I love to collect them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, collect us. <laughs> As people, you lure us into a podcast we think is our own. <laughs> Thank you for joining the Mouser Show. Yeah, right. <laughs> Today I have cosplay guest Jedi Bright. What did you want to talk about? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Well, we're already over an hour. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. Sweet. Well, I guess we're... That worked out perfectly. You can just copy like us introducing ourselves and then put that on a second one. Yeah. And just cut it. Right? <laughs> and the podcast number two will start now. <laughs> hey, how you been? <laughs> That's awesome. Well, okay. Well, where can people find you online? Uh, everywhere. Facebook mainly. Okay. Uh, I think next up would be probably Instagram, and then I twitch. Well, I don't twitch currently. I was twitching. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fucking That's medical a disease. <laughs> yes. You should probably not be sewing while twitching. <laughs> I I don't have the time right now, but I want to get into it hardcore because when I was twitching, like, uh, that sounds really bad. No, I need to find a better. I was streaming. When I was streaming. There you go. Okay. Was, but I stream on Twitch. You Twitch. <laughs> many you other places stream your stream. Twitches. I stream my Twitches. You and twitching then I, and then you stream. I, I stream my Twitches and then I Twitch to YouTube. <laughs> yeah. You Twitch on YouTube yeah. that streams. Um, but I, I used to stream our Warcraft raids like all the time, and it was oh, so cool. much fun. So I really want to get back into it hardcore again, but I just don't have the time right now. Right. So uh, Facebook mainly, Instagram, Twitch, and I have a YouTube channel I'm trying to grow. So Sweet. those are my main ones. And then I have like Twitter and Tumblr, but I fucking hate those. All the same names? <laughs> yeah. All Mouseler. All Mouseler? Yep. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that, that was another good thing about that name is no, no way I was like, the fuck that means or who, no one has it. So I just like cornered the internet Jeez. market. <laughs> do you do what I do? And like, if there's a new social network, you sign up for it just yeah. to get the name. Yeah. I have a Snapchat. I have no idea what it is. I, I should do that. Yeah. I, I probably will never is. use oh, it, but I should probably just do it. Yeah. Quickly. Because now they're going to be like, <laughs> oh, I'm just going to yeah. do it right, do it right, right walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm Jedi Brian on everything except for YouTube. Some douche has Jedi Brian, oh, and I've got Jedi Master Brian, and oh. I feel weird about it. I'm like, I'm Whoa. Jedi Brian on everything, except you two, I think I'm you a master. You can't change, like, just the name? I tried. I what? even, like, mailed a, I mailed, I emailed YouTube uh, support, and I was like, hey, so this guy hasn't used his account in, like, four years? Oh. So, like, sorry, bro. Dude, I get names from uh, World of Warcraft like that all the time. I, yeah? I do, like, I stalk them. I stalk them on Armory. I'm like, oh, it's a level five Blood Elf mage. They don't play anymore. <laughs> and then, like, you click on them, and it's like, 404 not found. That means they haven't logged in in forever. So then I just, like, <laughs> support. I really want this name because I'm moving to this server, so I'm giving you money. And they're like, free the name. <laughs> Have you seen the story of Jimmy? story of Jimmy. I'm going to show you something the second we're done with this. Okay. It's a World of Warcraft thing, and it's hilarious. I've seen a lot of um, stories that uh, the, uh, I'm going to say it wrong. Machinima. 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 Okay. Maybe. Oh. I don't know. Whatever. Makima. <laughs> Makima. Yes. <laughs> well, I've seen a lot of those things, and they're fucking awesome. I used to want to make them so bad. Oh, yeah. It's I, a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It is definitely I a lot of work. I can't do it. But, but yeah, uh, actually, my YouTube is, the URL is M-I-Y-O-3-1-1. And in... That's different than Mouseler. Yes, but in... Well, I mean, you can just search Mouseler, and yeah. my, my channel name one. is Mouseler, yeah. But in, like... 60 or so subscriptions I can change my URL oh. so subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can all make this magic happen yeah YouTube magic <laughs> yeah. sweet well thanks for coming on thank you for having me and that is Bye. it <laughs> I talked way more